Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we'll be finding out if you can use Mac OS X Yosemite, the first version of Mac OS X with the modern design and was released in 2014, in 2020. Let's find out. So you can see I'm at the OS X Yosemite desktop. Now, as you can see, it looks very similar to how modern Mac OS looked as Mac OS Big Sur kind of changed everything. How is Mac OS X Yosemite to actually use? Well, if we go to the About This Mac panel, you'll see that I'm running it currently on a 2006 Mac Pro, and yeah, you can actually run OS X Yosemite on these old machines. As you probably saw from an older video where I ran El Capitan, the version after this, on this machine as well. So yeah, this machine very much can run this system. It's not like this operating system is being unfairly judged because I'm using it on an unsupported system. This system will run it perfectly fine. Even though it's not supported, technically, it runs it perfectly fine. So you can see I'm always, ugh, I'm never at the correct aspect ratio, sorry about that. But you can see the system's two times two gigahertz dual core Intel Xeon. There are two of these CPUs in there is what that means. 16 gigs of RAM, I think I'll be good with the RAM usage. Why does this always cause this? Whenever I hit storage, it completely craps out. After that snafu. So you can see here um, at the OS X desktop, uh, most elements still look very similar and look very much the same as Catalina, such as all the icons that are on the desktop and most of the icons here are exactly the same. iTunes was removed in Catalina, so this is not the same icon. They changed these icons in Catalina, but most of them are still the same. System preferences is still the same. Quick time is, most everything here is still the same as far as icons. There are a couple that have changed, but what can Yosemite actually still run and what still works with Yosemite? Well, Yosemite actually has some features that we still have today, such as the modern design, the notification center, which as you can see here, still works. I don't know why I do not disturb it's just sitting there, but so we still have the notification center and we still actually have these widgets. We still have these today. Yosemite was the first to use, I think, I don't think it was the first to use these widgets, but I think it, it was the first to incorporate the whole modern design with everything. This version of OS X still had dashboard. Um, a lot of elements in it do not work anymore. Like the weather widget here doesn't work because dashboard's been discontinued. You can see that if you were stuck with using Yosemite, what would you notice on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, there are elements that have changed, the Novocation Center being one of them, the font of the entire operating system you can see here. The operating system has used a completely different font, which is Helvetica Nue, instead of San Francisco, which was used in Mac OS X El Capitan in later. I honestly prefer this font, but uh, Apple didn't, of course. You might also notice that Spotlight can't be moved around, so that's another thing that you can't change in Yosemite that you could in older versions. You couldn't move icons, or you couldn't move this up here. I think you could, yeah, you could move these around still. But yeah, there's really not too many, too many, di bleh, there aren't that many differences in Yosemite. Siri does not exist, that was released in macOS Sierra. So there are several apps that still work. The latest version of Safari is Safari version 10 as you can see right here, 10.1.2, that is the latest version of Safari that will run on Yosemite, meaning that it is from 2017. If you want a modern web browser, you've got Google Chrome. I'm pretty sure Firefox still works in Yosemite. Um, Opera probably works too. There's a lot of options still, but Safari is unfortunately not one of them, and that's a shame really, because I actually really love Safari for Mac OS. Oh, you stupid. So let's say I wanna go to youtube.com. Let's just go and just see how this looks. So you can see, this is my YouTube channel. Oh, that's an interesting subscriber count. So you can see here, I should be able to be able to, <laughs> I should be able to click on a video and it should just work. I would be putting the sound of the video in here just so then you could obviously hear that sound works. It does work, but I just don't want feedback to get into the video just because it would bother me. <laughs> so along with the speaker in this thing sucks. So you know what, fine. So you can hear the speaker, it's trying its best <laughs> to do what it's supposed to do. So, you can see, works perfectly fine, I have no issues with that. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, you can see, works perfectly fine, I have no issues with watching YouTube on here, and actually I'll put this to dark mode, because why not? Even in full screen, works perfectly fine. 
So what other applications can you still use on OS X Yosemite? Well, I've installed a couple, not too many, I need to install a few more. One of them is Discord. If you are a gamer, um, or just use Discord for audio chatting and text, whatever, um, Discord will work perfectly fine on OS X Yosemite. It, it, uh, it requires Mac OS X Yosemite, so that could mean that they'll drop support later in the future, which would not surprise me, as Yosemite is getting around six years old at this point. In fact, it is six years old. So chances are you'd still be able to use the last compatible version if you could find it, but you probably would not get all of the new features. So there are a couple of other apps that will run on this system if you download the last compatible versions, like Pages, iMovie, GarageBand. If you install all those versions of, like the last compatible versions, if I go to my purchase section, please don't have me type in my password. So you can still use Alaska model versions of this stuff. iMovie still looks pretty modern. Actually, in fact, it pretty much is modern. Yosemite was also the first version of macOS to support handoff and tech messages on other devices and calls on other devices. It added all of those features right into macOS. And this Mac Pro could run it if I had a compatible Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, module, but I do not, so can't really show that off. But just for reference, it's there. If you want to use Handoff, you can use Mac OS X Yosemite to do that. So, what else is different about the operating system that, you know, would be kind of a pain for other people to use? Now, for me, personally, I could not use this for my main operating system as much as I would love to, because the video editor that I use is Olive Video Editor, which actually surprised me that it auto-filled. And you can see here, the version that I will be moving to is all of 0.2 eventually, once the latest version of it is released. But you can see that requires 10.13, and even all of 0.1 won't run on Yosemite either, requiring 10.12 Sierra. So, kinda sucks that that's the case. I really think that they should've, if, it may not have been possible, I actually emailed the developer about this. Um, because at first, when I was downloading some of the older nightly builds, I mean older one, before they were even showing it on their website, they said it required macOS Mojave, and I was actually using macOS High Sierra at the time, and they said that they wanted to get the support back to maybe even back to Mavericks, although it doesn't look like they were successful here, um, unfortunately. I would have loved to seen Olive run on a machine like this, but it doesn't really seem like it's going to happen. Now, as far as Yosemite goes, what is actually an improvement with Yosemite that they got rid of in later versions? Well, one of them is a reminder thing right here. This is a very small one, but you can see how many options you get for snoozing reminders. They got rid of those, and I think even El Cap, they got rid of those. And one more thing that is superior with Yo Yosemite that isn't in like Mojave or Catalina is NVIDIA graphics support. The system has an NVIDIA GT610 in there, which is not metal compatible, which is another reason why I love Yosemite so much, is that you don't need a metal graphics card to use it. In fact, you don't need to even with High Sierra, but I've noticed better compatibility with Yosemite and El Cap than with Sierra and High Sierra. For instance, this card in here is a non-metal card, and it should work in Sierra and High Sierra, but it does not because of some fatal graphical glitches that cause the system to completely freeze. So that's a thing. But yeah, Yosemite handles it just fine. There aren't any problems with that, and I still don't know why this is frozen. I think that you could still use this as a daily operating system if you weren't too quote-unquote hardcore. I think that it would be perfectly fine for basic users or even people who are using these 1.1 Mac Pros, although if you are stuck with a 1.1 or 2.1 Mac Pro, like this computer obviously is, I would suggest that you install the latest OS that the system can run, which is El Capitan 10.11.6. That is the latest that the Mac Pro 1.1s and 2.1s can run. So if you need a computer that can do your daily tasks and such, I would suggest installing El Capitan on your 1.1 or 2.1 Pro. I would not suggest that you go ahead and install Yosemite. I did it mainly just for the heck of it, just to see how it would run. Yeah. So, can you use Mac OS X Yosemite in 2020? I would say you can, if all the software that you need will run on it, but I would avoid it if possible. There's no reason to be running it anymore today, so yeah. And even then, every Mac that can run Yosemite can go up to El Capitan, which is even better. Well, which is even better with support. It gets an extra Safari version, it gets more security updates. So yeah. Otherwise, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, then give it a like. 
If you like the content that you saw here, then I would suggest looking at other videos and clicking subscribe if you like the content that I upload. Otherwise, that'll be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all later.